three to say, you've been killing it in the gym. And I would officially like to say, well done, because there's nothing in this world that I personally feel is going to benefit you in terms of confidence like working out. But unfortunately, all workouts were not created equal. The only way you're going to truly maximize your fitness potential is if you do the exercises properly. And so today, I'd like to take you through five of my personal favorite exercises and show you what you could potentially be doing wrong and how to fix it. It all starts with number one. Dumbbell side raises are one of my all time favorite shoulder exercises. One of the issues I see a lot of guys making is using weights that are just too heavy. The weight is too heavy if you cannot control it all the way through the exercise, all right? If you're using a weight that's too heavy, the exercise typically will look like this. You're getting a lot of bounce with your knees, you're throwing the dumbbell, and you're just letting them slam back down to your thighs, as opposed to lifting it up, controlling it on the way down. In order to get the most muscle building bang for your buck out of side raises, guys, you need to use a weight that you can control through the entire range of motion. Performing the exercise, you go up with a pause and down. Up, pause, down, nice and slow. If you want to count, it looks like this. One, one, two, three, and up, one, two, one, two, three on the down. Up, one, two, one, two, three on the down. Head up, chest up, and down. Control the weight through the entire range of motion number two. Now, if you're not seeing the results that you're looking for, you're not seeing the results fast enough, guys, it could be that you're not performing the exercises properly, but it also could be that you could have the wrong program for you. If you guys are interested in grabbing an absolutely free, badass workout, guys, there's a link down below to our bodybuilding.com landing page. On that landing page, you're going to see my pick for the top 10 best supplements to build a better body. If you missed that video, guys, I will link to it down below. That landing page will also give you a discount on anything that bodybuilding.com sells. If any of you are looking for a new workout, a great plan, a new diet, guys, they are offering you a one-week free trial of all access, meaning that you can grab my program tailored six weeks to living lean, the one that I developed with bodybuilding.com, totally free for the next seven days. That program is amazing. It has everything you need in terms of workouts, reps, sets, when to do what exercise, not to mention diet. I have a plan that I have developed that I follow that has allowed me to build muscle, to stay lean, and to look incredible at 43 years young. And even if you have a solid program and you're seeing results and you're like, yeah, I'm looking pretty sexy, you can always learn from other people who have more experience, more knowledge. The second exercise that we're going to talk about today is one of my all-time favorite chest exercises, and that is body weight dips. But it's only a chest exercise if you perform it a specific way. If not, a lot of times it's going to turn into a front delt and tricep exercise. The way that I want you performing this exercise for your chest is to hop up there, elbows out, down, straight down, and up, down and up. Watch from behind. All right, so here you're up, your elbows are out, and up, out, and up, as opposed to sliding them here and here. I think it's a little bit easier to see from this direction, all right? This is the proper way. Notice my elbows are out as opposed to back and sliding close to my body. When you perform a dip like this with your elbows in close to your body, you're putting a lot more pressure and strain on the front of your shoulder as well as your tricep. If you've got any shoulder issues, guys, this is going to kill you. It's also not maximizing your chest. And for me, this exercise does an incredible job working the crap out of your chest. You get an amazing stretch and really get down into those muscle fibers to shred them, break them down so that they can rebuild bigger, stronger, and sexier. But the other piece to growing your muscles bigger and stronger is making sure that your body and your muscles have the nutrients it needs to do what it does. Right after your workout, your body is spent. Your muscles are like, yo, what just happened to me? I need something. What is it? Oh, protein, amino acids. And so right after a workout, guys, this is the perfect time to take a protein protein powder. I take a scoop in water right after I work out. So then my poor muscles who have just gotten the crap beat out of them have what it needs in order to 
build bigger, stronger, more sexy muscles. Guys, if you're looking for a super high quality protein that tastes amazing, incredible amino breakdown, guys, the Signature Series Whey Protein is, in my opinion, the best on the market, period. If you want to grab it or check it out, it's affordable. That discount code makes it even better. Curls for the girls, exactly. Who doesn't love a good bicep curl? Exactly, I think we all do. But the difference between a good bicep curl and a bad bicep curl is all about the form. Gentlemen, when you are performing a dumbbell curl, what I want you to do, I want you to focus on keeping the upper part of your arm locked tight against your body. All right, one of the big mistakes I see a lot of guys making is that at the top of the exercise, they will actually rotate their elbow forward. What happens at this point is you're taking all the tension off of your bicep muscle. You could hold this here like all day long, right? A proper bicep curl keeps the upper part of your arm stationary, tight against your body, and you are just lifting and squeezing with the pause. This is tough. The tension is on the muscle. All right, right there and there, all right? Oof. I can already feel a huge difference. When you rotate that elbow, you're totally doing a disservice to the pythons, gentlemen. Try this next time you're working biceps. It is a total game changer. If this means you gotta lighten the weight a little bit and perform them slower, that's not a bad thing. It doesn't matter how much you lift. Don't worry about how much weight you're lifting or how much you're curling, all right? It's all about how well you're working that muscle. That truly is going to be the difference between you seeing results in the gym and you not. Now, if you're going for strength, guys, disregard this. I am just trying to give you the best advice that I know and from my experience, in order to build your muscles a little bit bigger, all right? It's all about slow, it's all about squeezing, it's all about keeping the tension on the muscle. Speaking of tension, gentlemen, now we're gonna work those triceps, all right? We are going to be doing tricep pushdowns. Now, tricep pushdowns are a staple. It's an exercise that I personally think is a must-have in your tricep exercise arsenal. All right, the way that most people perform this though is they'll get the bar or the rope and they'll stand directly underneath the pulley. You just start cranking those bad boys out, right? Super fast, standing directly underneath the pulley. Unfortunately, this is not doing much other than just moving a bunch of weight. You're not actually working your triceps all that effectively. Instead, what I want you to do is perform the exercise nice and what's the word exactly slow instead of being directly under the pulley i want you to step back notice the angle now all right and then what i want you to do is hold the bar at 90 degrees press down and up 90 degrees press down and hold it and up 90 degrees down and up it's all about going slow and keeping the tension on the muscle. By stepping back a little bit, you're actually increasing the tension. When you're directly underneath the pulley, you could hold it here all day long. There's not the tension on the triceps, but by stepping back, whoo, all of a sudden it changes the intensity and angle of that exercise. So you're here and here. Gentlemen, if you wanna burn those triceps like they have never burned before, Give this a try. Remember, you might need to drop the weight a little bit. You might need to do this a little bit slower. But at the end of the day, it's all about form. It's all about speed. And it's all about tension on those tries. So for the fifth and final exercise that I love, that I see a lot of guys doing wrong, is dumbbell flies. Um, for your chest. Now, I know that there is a lot of different stuff online. Some people say that it's a horrible exercise. Some people say it's dangerous. It is dangerous if you don't know how to perform it. I personally love them, and so I'm gonna show you how I perform my dumbbell flies. I get the dumbbells, I roll back, all right? Press them up, the arms are slightly bent. Coming down, nice and wide, with a pause, and up, all right, notice that the bend in my arms stays consistent throughout the entire range of motion. You're here with a pause, good stretch, and up. Where I see a lot of guys screwing this exercise up, really there are two reasons. Number one, guys try and do it with their elbows locked. That is a recipe for disaster. It's also bad form. The other issue is I'll see a lot of guys letting their elbows drop. All right, and so the dumbbells will come more like that, which is also dangerous, guys. It's dangerous for your shoulder joint, all right? But if you keep them right here and here, very similar motion 
to a pec deck, all right? If you have done a pec deck before and you've kept your elbows nice and high, guys, this is pretty much the same range of motion. I personally, though, love this exercise a little bit more than the pec deck because you're working a lot of those little stabilizing muscles. And for me, it just feels so good, all right? There's a pause at the bottom right there and up. Ooh, ah, feels good. 